All right, what is up everybody? Today we are back on some more Minecraft Xbox 360 and it's been quite a while since I gave you a trap to torment your friends with. So today I have another one for you. And this one is actually a pitfall trap into an arrow trap. So you can see here if I walk on this pressure plate that looks like it would, you know, maybe open up this door. Instead, I fall into this pit and then I am slayed by arrows and I don't even have enough time to do anything to try and block myself or try and survive in any way, shape or form. So, if you guys want to know how to build this trap, stay tuned. Okay, so to start building your own pitfall arrow trap, the first thing you want to do is dig out an area that is three long, just like so, followed by another area that is two long right next to it, just like that. And right here in this spot where I'm looking is actually where the pitfall is going to be. So when we put a block over that, this is where the hole is going to be. So obviously build this according to where you want your pitfall trap to be positioned. And right now we want to place a sticky piston right there in that corner, followed by some redstone dust here, and then a block on top, followed by a redstone torch. And if we put a pressure plate on top, you will actually be able to see that now we have a very simple working pitfall that will be the basis for our entire trap. So now that we have the simple pitfall built, we want to dig down six total. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then right here is where we are going to have it close over our head. So when we fall in, we don't want our victim to be able to, you know, jump out or place down blocks and get out of the hole. So we are going to put, um, so we are going to, I apologize, put a piston here. And then we are going to put an iron block there. Now, I use iron blocks because they are a lot more difficult to break out, obviously, because it's iron. Um, and just so it just it just makes it harder to escape the trap, which is obviously the purpose of the trap, is to kill the victim. And if they escape, well, then you didn't do it right. So now we want to wire that piston up to our original pressure plate, which will be here. So we want to dig three off this way, followed by four back. And then we just want to dig down until we can find where that is now I always hate doing it from this side there it is um, because it's hard to obviously find the back of that but there we did and now I'm just going to wire that up to the original circuit now I dug four back here so that I could put down some uh, repeaters there we are and that was gravel of course Ugh, there okay I'm struggling a little bit there we are so now we just want to wire this up to where the piston or I'm sorry where the uh, pressure plate will be right there and we just want to wire this up like so and now you can see that if I were to apply a redstone current to this redstone wire that block down there will extend and thus trap our victim so that is working perfectly however if we were to do it now the block would actually extend before you had a chance to fall so to fight that, we are going to tick these back all the way, these two repeaters, so that the block closes above your head and not on top. You know what I mean? So right now, if we didn't tick it back, this would close um, under my feet as opposed to above my head. I, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the block back there. And now this should be currently working. Um, I do like to test my things as I go simply to make sure that they all work. Um, so And that didn't work for some reason. See, that's why you test it. So, oh, I didn't uh, wire up the redstone. So, if we go ahead and put some redstone there, we take out that block, put that there, there, and there. Now, we should have ourselves a currently working trap. Yep, and now you can see I'm now blocked in here. So, that's perfect. So, now we need to build where we are going to have the arrow room, which is essentially going to be the room you fall into where you are shot. So, to start off, we want to dig two off on each side like so, and then we want to go back nine. So, one two wait wait, wait. one yeah two three four five six seven eight nine and let me go ahead and put down some torches so we can actually see okay right there all right and right here is where we are going to actually put the dispensers and of course i'm gonna have to rip the torch i just put down all right all right just like so and let's go ahead and clear out this area so that the arrows have a clear path to do some victim killing. I'll go ahead and put up a torch there so we can see. And right here is actually where I can, I should need another piston, is where I can place down our dispensers. So, just like so. And now we just need to wire these up to a circuit that will cause them to shoot repeatedly. 
as well as um, up to the original pressure plate so that they get activated when the trap gets activated. So we'll just dig back here to kind of clear out an area. I like to clear out an area that is a square. Typically 3x3 three three works just fine. Okay, and then I'm going to place down repeaters in a pattern like this. So we can set up a circuit that if I apply redstone will repeatedly go on and off. Uh, without stopping so that these will fire until they're out of ammo as opposed to just one time since that's the only time you stepped on the pressure plate so let's go ahead and let's put some repeaters behind the dispensers because the redstone has to directly go into the back of the dispenser for them to fire it will not fire if you do not have it directly into it so say I had a dispenser um, oops like oops sorry like that, if I were to apply redstone current, you see it doesn't work. Um, however, if I were to put down a repeater, followed by some redstone, you see now it works. So that's why you need to do the, um, the repeaters as opposed to just redstone. So if your system isn't working, you just have redstone. That is likely the cause. So now we just want to wire up the redstone there to the obviously the back of the dispensers. And in here, I'm going to begin the process of linking it to the... Um, the pressure plate in the front however I first again like to test to make sure that everything works and I recommend you do this as well because if you don't and again something doesn't work you're not going to know what doesn't work if you don't test it as you go now you see there I just tick these repeaters back one time and I do that because if you don't this cycle will will likely glitch um, that's happened to me numerous times in the past and it's very irritating I did not mean to put that in there um, but it's just something to keep in mind so make sure you tick those all back once and I'm just going to put in these arrows to make sure that the system works. So if I quickly put down a redstone torch and pick it up, um, we should be able to come in here and see that now the dispenser is firing. And it should be hitting about on target. Um, so if I go ahead and I put this up, we can see that it actually is firing a little bit low. So I'm actually going to stop that. And I'm going to move it forward one block just so that it will um, completely oopsie completely clear the the block that we will place down in a moment to trap whoever fell in so I'm just going to move this forward one and then move our repeaters ahead one just like so followed by that there and then some redstone and now if we test this it should work and you see that's what happens if uh, if you don't pick up the redstone torch fast enough it will lock up the redstone so you gotta I mean you gotta put it down to pick it up fast there okay so but that's not an issue when you actually have the trap going because um, it will instead um, I probably it will instead it, it only sends a very quick burst of redstone it does not um, keep a consistent signal so it's not an issue when the actual thing is set up and now you can see here that the arrows are going in the right location a couple get hit stuck in the ceiling but that's not a big deal because coupled with the other uh, dispensers here it will work out just fine so now let me go ahead and wire it up and our trap should be complete so I'm just going to come over here and dig and then I'm gonna dig up kind of guessing where this would link up to the pressure plate and that was actually pretty close that was pretty close okay so we actually want to link it up to this redstone wire here the same redstone wire that is going to the piston and we are just going to kind of grab a little source off of there and just link it down to the repeater down here and bam that should work just fine now I'm gonna go ahead and put down a couple of repeaters this might be a little bit of overkill um, but I just like to again ensure that my signal is going to make it where I want it to go and that should be fully working let me move this back a little bit uh, to like right here to make sure that signal makes it all the way and am I flying I wasn't that was weird why can I not move forward uh okay that was weird all right so anyway this should work i'm going to go ahead and put some arrows in this dispenser and we can test it out and make sure it works now as you oops saw in the original 
I'll just put in enough that we can make sure it works. All right, like so. And as you saw in the original, I actually had this all as iron, um, similar to how the the upper block was. Now, you don't have to do that. However, again, I like to ensure that whoever I am trapping down here stays trapped. And in the other one, I put in uh, some more iron all along this just to make it look pretty so the person could see a real nice room right before they died. However, again, that's not necessary in any way, shape, or form. So there, that should be a-okay. Oops, and then if we go ahead and we block it off like that. Oops. And we go ahead and we put some iron down here. Our trap should be all but complete. Now I'm just going to quickly come down here and close off the room so who's ever trapped down here can't see our handiwork. And you could obviously, like I did in the in the example one, which is over there, um, you could use glowstone instead of torches down in there. Uh, but for demonstration purposes this time, that's not going to be necessary. And you can see here, if we go ahead and we reset the trap, oops, not with a block there, but with a pressure plate, we can then walk on top, fall in, it closes on top of us, and if I were on survival mode, I would be getting nailed by those arrows right now. And if I was again on survival mode, I wouldn't be able to break these blocks, and I would just stay here and die. And then you could, when they were dead, obviously come down here, collect the loot, and uh, you'd be good to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this trap. Let me just come over here and show you one more time some of the things you can do with it. Um, down in here, you can see how I put in the glowstone, obviously, and uh, put this as iron as opposed to the stone. So, it's just a couple ideas, as well as you can see here, I covered up the whole outside um, by putting this wall around it and making you think it was a door as opposed to, obviously, a trap. Because you don't want people to know it's a trap. That defeats the purpose of having a trap. So it's something to keep in mind. Obviously, you'd want to cover up all of this redstone very simply. Just put it on top. And make sure that when you're doing, especially right here, that you do not clip the redstone. And that you instead do something like I did like that, where you build around it to ensure that you don't clip the redstone. And obviously, then stop the circuit from working correctly. So there you have it. That is how to make a falling, a pitfall arrow trap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please do drop me a like and subscribe for some more Minecraft Xbox 360 in the future. And if you guys have any certain traps that you'd like me to make or uh, fashion, I can most definitely do that. Just drop them down in the dis or in the comments, and I will take a look at them, and possibly your trap will be the next one I do. So with that said, that is about it for me. Like I said, please do drop me a like, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace.